Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Star Stable Stacy. I'm here with just next to the councilman so we can work on some more Christmas quests today. I know that for most of you guys, Christmas has already happened, but here in the past, it hasn't happened yet. So I'm very excited to work on some more Christmas quests. Hopefully we can finally get um, our reindeer, turn our, <laughs> our starter horse into a reindeer. I'm so looking forward to that. I've seen you guys do tons of it. And yeah, let's get started. See if the tailor, Donald, here in the village has any Christmas stockings. Oh, I bet he does. I bet he does. Sorry, the Christmas stockings are sold out. Oh no, <laughs> but I can sew a big one for you. It won't be ready till tomorrow. I'm finished making your Christmas stocking. Oh, that was fast. Take it and show it to the councilman. Will do. Good job, Donald the tailor. Right on point. What a gorgeous Christmas stocking. Now let's see, where can we hang it up? I know. Hand up your Christmas stock hang up your Christmas stocking here by the lamppost beside me. It will look nice there, and there's no way that Santa could miss it. <laughs> oh, I wonder how big it is. <laughs> oh. I thought it was gonna be like the size of the lamppost. <laughs> it's still pretty big, I guess. That will be fine there until Christmas. <laughs> Ask Harold if the Christmas porridge for the Christmas elves is ready. Christmas porridge for Christmas elves. Harold, we're looking for some Christmas porridge. Uh, of course, Christmas porridge too. I'll get going on that. The porridge has cooked all night. It's really good. But it is only for the house elves that watch o over our homes. Put them out on the steps of some of the houses here in the city and then tell the councilman that it is done. All right, porridge for house elves, huh? That's another new one for me. Okay. And you should they just leave it outside? All right. Oh. You could put some over here. Done. That house gets porridge and a gnome. Big Bonnie, would you like some porridge for house elves? Like in Harry Potter? Aha, I spy some stairs that need some porridge. Done. How about for Donald the tailor, because he's so awesome. Yep. There you go, Donald. House elf porridge. <laughs> Porridge complete. Now the house elves will be happy and continue to watch over our small village and protect it from bad luck for another year. You really need to stay good friends with those elves. Sure. <laughs> this year's Christmas cola is ready, so now we need to go get it. What would Christmas be without Christmas cola? This will need to be done carefully. I hope you have great control over your horse, Nova. Of course you do! It is the only reason I'd even think of letting you do this job. Ride up to the Baroness and pick up the keg with this year's Christmas cola. You'll need to ride carefully. When you ride back, be sure not to ride too fast, otherwise the keg might explode. The bubbles in the cola will make the pressure too high and BOOM! So be careful. Uh oh. <laughs> Madam, we need some Christmas cola, please. Good day, Nova. You are correct. Our famous Christmas cola is ready. I have a keg ready for delivery to Silverglade. Take the keg of Christmas cola and deliver it to the councilman in Silverglade Village. The keg is over there by the wall with the cola drums. Ride carefully so it doesn't get shaken too much or the keg might explode. There's a pressure meter that shows the pressure in the keg. If the pressure starts to get too high, just stop for a little to decrease it. Otherwise, it might explode. If that happens, come back and collect another one. Let's just hope it doesn't. Christmas cola is very expensive. Do try to be careful. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, no pressure. Actually, lots of pressure. That's the problem. Oh, pressure on the barrel. So when this meter gets too high, 
we need to stop <laughs> and let it go down a little bit. Oh gosh. All right, let's stop. Oh good, it goes down fairly quickly. All right, and walking like this, it goes down a little bit. So we can still make up some time. We are almost there. <laughs> Real close. If we walk, it goes down. So at least we're still moving. <laughs> oh, we're so close. We're so close. All right, I think if we keep this speed, we will make it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Oh, so close, but so far. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. Oh, uh, we'll slow down a little bit. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> After making it that far, I wouldn't want to start over again. Councilman, here quick, take your cola. <laughs> yes! Have you seen Nova? Things have gone crazy here. Oh, but you are here with the cola. That went really well. Your cola seems to be okay too. You must have ridden very carefully and calmly. Thank you. But things have been wild since you've been gone. I can't believe my eyes. The Christmas goats have made... <laughs> we made have gone wild. They are running around the village and scaring all the children. How is this possible? Some kind of strange magic has to be behind all this. Oh my god, look, they are! They're running around! <laughs> Quick, before those crazy Christmas goats ruin anything else. Oh my gosh! That's weird! Why are they just running around? <laughs> catch them! Oh my god, how do I catch them? Wait, go get the goat. Go get it. How do we- how do I catch them? Oh, we need to ask Steve for a lasso. Okay. Let's go get a lasso from Steve. Steve, we need a lasso. There's wild goats. This is terrible. Christmas goats running amok in the village. It is very strange, I have to say. Of course, you can have a lasso. Take this and catch those crazy goats. Tell the councilman when you have succeeded. All right. Goats. Yes, one. Goat, get back here. Yes, two. Goat, ah! <laughs> I hit it, but not with my lasso. Four, one more. We need one more goat. One more wild goat. There he is. We got him. Yes, we got him. That was fun. Um, it's a little creepy, too, to see those goats run running around. <laughs> but a lot of fun. Christmas magic, Christmas magic. <laughs> oh, that was really odd. It is a good thing you came with a good lasso and could catch them before they got into more trouble. Those goats didn't slow down at all last night. I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Take the goats to Elizabeth and Valedale. She is a druid, and maybe she could figure out what has happened to them. And try to figure out who is responsible for this. I hope nobody is trying to ruin Christmas for us. Do you think the house elves didn't like the porridge? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Elizabeth, we've had some problems with goats. <laughs> goats. A magical breakthrough. Hello, Nova. Are you just passing through here again? You are welcome anytime. Thanks. I have looked into this some more. I have my suspicions about what kind of magic we use, but I don't know who has done it. This is, of course, a sign that the darkness is growing stronger. Oh, okay. <laughs> this kind of magic has never been this strong before. Would you like to know more? Yes. <laughs> it sounds kind of dangerous. I thought you might want to know. I have managed to stop the magic for the moment, but whoever did this has to know it w would be noticed. I suspect that they want us to know that they are here now, and that a new powerful magician has come to the island. This scares me a little bit, and I wonder who it could possibly be. Well, now I'm scared too! <laughs> oh no. Take these neutralized Christmas goats back to Silverglade Village and put them back where they should be. Tell the councilman that they should be completely safe now. Have a great Christmas, Nova. Thank you, Elizabeth. I don't know how I'm going to sleep at night, knowing the darkness is growing. 
Neutralize ghost. Oh gosh, then maybe I should clear my inventory a little bit. All right. Let's replace the pesky running goats <laughs> with the neutralized goats. Ugh. All right, your pesky goat problem should be under control now. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Nova. Are you sure that they won't wake up again? Okay, but I will keep an eye on them. Good idea. I can't vouch for that. I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. It seems like Barney by the silo by Steve's farm borrowed the biggest and best Christmas star last year. Ride over to him and ask if we can have it back to finish up our amazing tree. Awesome. Barney, we need a giant star. I had this Christmas star up on my silo last year. It was beautiful. But a storm came and blew it away, so unfortunately, it is gone. The North Wind has it now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. I'm very sorry. I will, of course, compensate the councilman for the loss. Ride back to him and tell him the bad news. Oh, that's a bummer. I thought we were going to, like, go look for it, maybe. No, it's just gone. <laughs> um, so, no star. <laughs> uh, that is bad news. But you haven't seen what has happened here yet? What, did we get a star? No, okay. <laughs> now let me see. The Christmas star is definitely missing. I have heard that Mario saw something in his telescope that he described as a falling star. But that also looks like the Christmas star that swirled like it was blowing in the wind. That must have been a Christmas star. I don't, I don't think about it then. I didn't think about it then. So he just thought he was crazy. <laughs> so I've already spoken with Mario and got more details on what he saw. He remembers he saw the star vanish over Doyle's church. See if you could find the star or if there is anyone nearby who saw anything. Exactly. Doyle's church ruins. That is on the way to Fort Pinta. Yes, across from where we picked the apples. We're here at Doyle's church now to look for the fallen star. Oh. Let's talk to May about it. Maybe she saw it. Hello, you looking for a fallen star? Hmm, let me think. Ah, oh, I remember now. I was just over here and was calming down my little sheep Twinkie. Oh, but he was frightened. The star flew over the church there, bounced through the treetops, over the thorny rocks over there, and vanished behind the apple orchard on the other side of the bay. If I was you, I would ride over to the apple orchard and see if there are any clues as to where it went, or if there was anyone who saw anything. To get over the Silver Song River, you need to cross over the bridge north of here. Okay. We know where that is. We went over there and picked apples. It was beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh, Sonia? Yeah. Hello, is this your apple? No, how nice to have wild apples as <laughs> opposed to tame apples. I sometimes ride past here and take a few because they are so good. If I saw the star that the wind took? Yes, I did actually. Uh, do you know the bear cave? No? Okay. I looked in the bear cave a few months ago when I was out on one of my rides and the bears had a big Christmas star in their cave. I thought it was strange, but I didn't think about where it might have come from. I can show you where it is if you follow me. Let's go. Oh, all right. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be a leisurely stroll. <laughs> oh, all right. We're taking off. Let's go, Sonia. We got this. Where are you taking us, Sonia? Where are we going? Oh, sharp turn. Oh, oh dear. Where is she going? Wait, wait on me. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, let's talk to her first. <laughs> this is the bear's cave. I think the bears are home. Uh oh. I don't want to go into the cave to get the star, do you? If you're going to do that, you better be really, really quiet and sneak in on foot. I'll stay here and watch. Thanks, Sonia. Oh my gosh, there is a bear. Stay over here, stay over here. I wonder if we can get a picture. Oh, we woke him up. Oh, 
we got the star, though. Does that count? Yes, it does. We did it, Sonia. That was very brave of you, Nova. You are amazing. The councilman will be overjoyed to see that you have found his missing Christmas star. Take it to him as soon as you can so this Christmas can finally be ready. Finally. Are you just going to hang out here at the bear cave? Have fun. We have your star, councilman. We braved a bear attack for it. You owe us big time for this one. <laughs> Magnificent. Outstanding. Shiny. You say you found it in a bear's cave? It was really brave of you to go in there and get that. Considering it was in a bear's cave and blown away by the wind, it is in pretty good shape, huh? Very lucky. There we go. I just have one more thing for you to help with. You get to put the star on top of the tree. Then Christmas is completely ready to go. Afterwards, we get to hand out presents. But bit until tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Here's the star. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Nova. The tree looks amazing. Now it's Christmas for real. We'll see you, you tomorrow again. Then we can hand out presents. Here we are with the man of the hour to exchange our fragments. All right. Now we will let's combine these here. Exchange them for presents and see what we get. A hat. Oh, the one that we have. <laughs> Santa hat. We have, oh, that's a bow. I think it goes, it's on this side. Yep. Very nice. Saddle. Ooh, we have not had that one yet. Red and white saddle. Love it. Next present is, ooh, a skirt. We haven't gotten a skirt yet. Awesome. A green city skirt. <laughs> oh, next is a hat. Oh, a helmet. Did we get this one? I'm not sure. But that's pretty awesome. A bridle. Ooh, we definitely have not gotten this. And it looks beautiful on Marble Heart. Oh, that's so cool. Purple adventure bridle. Oh, it matches the adventure saddle that we got too. I put the, I took that out of my inventory. I kind of wish I hadn't now because it matches these things. That's cool. We have almost like a set. Thank you, Santa. Boots. Green terrain boots. They will go with the city skirt. <laughs> uh, oh, is this a green ribbon? Oh, how cool. A green ribbon. We haven't had a green ribbon yet. We've got lots of red stuff. Not a lot of green. Uh, are these more shoes? Same shoes? Oh, okay. Another pair of the same shoes, but that's okay. We could sell one and get some coins. Oh, last Christmas wish for today. A green hat. Awesome, we've got some really cool stuff. I hope you guys did as well this year. There's still a lot more to do. Um, but we've got such a great haul. Like I've said before, Christmas is such a great time. We get so much stuff. If you're just becoming a star rider now, oh gosh, it's a great time. You're going to have such a head start in the game with so much gear and clothes. It's fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope everyone had a spectacular Christmas and has a very happy new year because that's coming up next. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I hope you guys have had excellent vacations from school. There's so many people on today. So excited to be doing the Christmas quest and not be at school. <laughs> so yay. As for news, Dance Dragons said she prefers reading all the text unless it's a daily one that she does every day, then she skips over it because um, they're really exciting. She hopes to be Star Rider for Christmas. Yay, I hope you got Star Rider. <laughs> and the advent calendar is awesome. Uh, we got some star, co star coin codes recently, and now she is only 100 star coins away from getting her white pony. Yay, congratulations. I hope by now you've got it. Let me know in the comments if you did or not. <laughs> Nancy got to level 17. Yay! Congratulations, Nancy. That's awesome. Uh, she's so excited. Waited so long to get there. <laughs> and you'll be 18 in no time, I'm sure. Um, and she learned how to lead her horse, and she thinks it's so cool. I think uh, mostly everybody loves the lead horse function that has it already. 
Um, I think it's a lot of fun. You guys will have to check it out. I checked it out in one of the previous videos on here. Um, it's a lot of fun. It looks really cool. So if you haven't tried it out yet, you should. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe to Star Stable for more awesome videos and give us a thumbs up. Have fun. Be kind. See you next time.